Got this doghouse cover off, and you can see there's a transmission in there. There's that clamp. You said to do a little cutting and welding to make this thing work, to get it to work with this new bell housing pattern, and got the exhaust all hooked in there. You can see the hole I had to cut out of the floor here. This is where the old doghouse was right here. And you can see I've actually had to cut this hole bigger to extend it, fit the shifter in here. This is the bracket for the uh, parking brake cable on the back of the transmission. I'll show uh, the Allison here what's going on. <clears throat> this thing bolts onto the back right about here and it actually, uh, the cable will bolt right onto that bolt right there and then it would pull the lever over this way where this one's a little different. This one actually it pulls it forward like that to engage the parking brake. The other one, like it says, a little different. The problem I'm running into is this thing sticking up so high in the transmission on the back that it's actually bumping into the floor. So I actually had to take this bracket off just to get the transmission in because I couldn't get it in the right angle because this was pushing the back of the transmission down when I would try and raise it up because it was actually hitting the bottom of the bus, the floor. So what I did is uh, it bolted on with those two bottom holes. I drilled this top hole here and I scored up here so I'm going to bend and break off this tab which what that's going to do is it's going to lower it down. Ended up having to cut off another piece right here because when I moved this down this tab here was running into the transmission so let's give that a try now. So the back of the transmission here and you zoom on up here you see there's the parking brake lever there. It actually pulls right there and there's the cable on the tap there going over to the other side. So here's the parking brake cable. There's that piece that we had to cut that bolts on here. You can see up there where I played with it for a while to get it to actually try and fit under here, which is kind of a useless effort. But see how far it moved it down. So we got space here now to actually make it work. On the back of the transmission here, this is a new piece of drive shaft that I had to get put in and cut. See where I center. If you want to flip that upside down here, there you go. Anyway, what they did was this is the original piece that was on here, the uh, flange, and they ended up cutting this off of the other drive shaft because that one was too long anyway. And you can see this one's a lot smaller than this one over here. So this is the one that came with it. You can see how big that universal joint is over there. Then how little this one is. Here's that part of the exhaust that I cut and welded. And then there's that other PTO cover on the right side of the engine that I borrowed from the Allison. Thank you, Allison. This is a picture that I took of the uh, the parts truck that I got my uh, transmission from. And uh, you notice there, there's a hole right here, and that's for the, uh, the clutch pedal, or the uh, clutch cable. Well, up here, on my bus, you can see we don't have that. See the steering column? There's a bolt there, but that's got some stuff behind it, so that's not for the... Uh... Well, this thing's angled, too. So I'm building a clutch cable mount to go right there. This is just a piece of angle iron, and then I capped it off and drilled a hole for the clutch cable to come through. And we're going to line it up just like this one is. And I'll zap it down like that, and then well, I'll cut a hole first. got to mark it out, cut the hole for this. And then zap this thing on here, and away we go. Here's the clutch cable I'll put in. There's that mount that I welded up. You can see that right here under the firewall. And the cable runs on up to the clutch pedal. So push the pedal down and it pulls on that cable. Let's see it from the, uh, from the firewall. There's the inner fender. Got that out. And you can see right there. There's the clutch cable right here. There's the mount I put in. It's all gooped up because I sealed it up with silicone sealant so it wouldn't leak. And then I sprayed some paint on there. But that's all ready to go now. It's about time for a test drive.